Good morning, YouTube. What do we got? Huh? All right, we got these clouds behind the sun. And you could put sunglasses over these to dim that light and you'll see that all this is behind that. <clears throat> Probably because the sun ain't millions and millions of miles away. But academics would like you to think so. Clouds ain't like they used to be, right? Looks like a blankie. Oh, the government tucking us in with a nice little blankie. Protect us from this probably from uh, radiation maybe because our sun's getting hotter mm -hmm. plus we got multiple suns which I'm sure multiple suns would equal multiple radiations probably different kinds of radiations which would enhance different types of storms like we've been seeing <clears throat> earthquakes, all that stuff. Probably because these magnets, suns, which are magnets, are putting a lot of pressure on our dome. I mean, excuse me. Bow shot. The sky. The. Yeah, the dome up there within the firmament. Anyway, this is not normal, and the sun's getting brighter because it's getting hotter. It used to be yellow, turning white, well, it's white, <laughs> and then blue. It's getting further away, which means this source is getting smaller, more focused, and it's more hot. With that being said, it would get brighter, but sm it's smaller, but it's brighter because of that. <clears throat> and it's far and it's focusing a point, so it's going to be hotter. But anybody <laughs> that's not of this generation, I'm sure can just simply look and be like, hmm, this is not how it was. All right, everybody, just a little chat. Just look at your skies. Look it. There goes another one right there, probably trying to, you know, hide what's behind them. It's like a solid mass back there, you mean? The whole sky, like a big blanket. It's not clouds. Yeah, you can see formations on that shit. Like, tell me they don't look like, from a Google perspective, like some land, freaking canyon, a mountain rock, like a, from an aerial view. You know what I mean? Like, come on, come on. Get real, people. You can literally see things like walking in there, whether it's AI or this or that. We know shit's different. Come on, people. Look at your skies. Record a little bit. Check it out. Tell me what you think. But that looks like I'm looking at a Google image. Google Earth. Looking down at some land. Stop spraying my house. Alright everybody. Truth, love, peace, and chicken grease. Truth sets us free. But we have to accept the changes because truth will change different perspectives and realities of people's mind. 
and the truth will be is hard to accept especially when we've been living lies living in this movie that movie this scene that scene that drama this drama we've been distracted to see that there's a lot changing and then they tell you oh it's just water crystals or what ice crystals and this and this and that's why we're having these weird anomalies and nonsense like come on people A lot of planes, a lot of activity. But yeah, even though places seem like it's not getting warmer, it's getting warmer. This blanket and crap that they're doing, disbursements, all this, it's going to cool you down because they're shielding the rays, the radiation and the heat so it don't boil your ass and cook you up. Very dangerous stuff, so they're killing people. To save people, to live a little longer than they would have. So some people get to live a little longer and suffer, and some people they're just dying, <laughs> and they're not saying shit. Anyway, so yeah, multiple suns. It's gonna be an interesting year, I'm sure. Time to check the earthquakes. All right, I'm out. Michael signing out. Truth, love, peace, and chicken grease, y'all. Eyes to the sky. Don't ask why.